Hi, Chris Cavus, still at Euronaval 2024, just outside Paris. We're at the General Atomics booth, and today we're going to talk about Sea Guardian, a remotely piloted aircraft based on the very well-known MQ-9 Reaper, but this is geared specifically for maritime operations. We're speaking with Christophe Taraz Fontaine. Nice to see you, sir. Welcome. So you, uh, Taraz is your call sign. You were French Air Force. I understand that you introduced the Reaper, the MQ-9 Reaper, into French Air Force service. So you're quite familiar with this system. That's correct. Uh, that's happened uh, 10 years ago. Uh, and uh, what I can see uh, and say is that uh, we were very pleased with the system. The French Air Force was very pleased with the system. GA was very pleased with what the Air Force uh, has been doing the uh, last 10 years with the system. And uh, as you said, we are, I, I believe we, you want to talk about the MQ-9B now, right. which is the newest uh, evolution uh, of, uh, of uh, the MQ-9. Uh, and, and specifically, as we are in Euro Naval, about the Sea Guardian version. Right? So what makes this a maritime system rather than a land-based system? So the, the major evolutions, because there are many compared to the Reaper, is that first we make this aircraft uh, uh, capable to fly in unsegregated airspace. That means it's now certifiable, uh, which is a very important step forward uh, with, to the Reaper. Uh, second, we make it more capable to operate in adverse weather conditions. That means now it can fly in, in a maritime environment, which is, which is completely different than the desert environment where the Reaper was mainly operating. Uh, and three, obviously, uh, we added more uh, dedicated sensors to be able to collect data uh, above the maritime uh, domain, which means radars, uh, uh, electronic uh, intelligence capabilities, uh, again, in order to continue to collect real-time data over the oceans. But this, this also is, has an attack capability. It's weaponized, correct? Yeah, so all our platforms are combinations of collect capabilities and uh, provide effects. So uh, the same way we have uh, modified the sensors to adapt them to the maritime environment, the same way we have adapted the weapons to be capable to operate uh, over maritime domain and support the, the full scope of maritime operations. And the regime that it's intended to operate in, this is not, it's not just ISR and, and attack, but it's not ASW, is it? Not undersea warfare. So it provides an ASW capability in the sense that we are capable to deploy sooner boys uh, in order to be able to collect data on uh, submarines. So uh, yes, we can do ASW, deploy sooner boys, monitoring the sooner boys, collect the data and like the Reaper, via the satellite data links, continue to, to download this data to the chain of command uh, on the ground and or on the ships. So there are several countries around the world where this has already entered service, recently entered service, hasn't been out that long. Where, where is it operating? So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it, it's been flying for a certain, certain number of years. The air version is called Sky Guardian is already uh, uh, operating in U United Kingdom and, and uh, very soon in Belgium. And uh, the Sea Guardian specifically has been operating for the last two years uh, in support to the Japanese Coast Guard um, through a contract, a company-owned, company-operated contract, so a service contract to the Japanese Coast Guard. And, and now the Japanese Coast Guard and the Navy have procured this, this, uh, this aircraft. In addition to uh, Japan, uh, India just procured uh, 30 MQ-9Bs, which is the naming convention for the, for, this, for the Sky and the Sea Guardian. And among this uh, a number of aircraft, a certain number are uh, Sea Guardians. You're still open to market this to the U.S. Navy. Are you also trying to market it to the Coast Guard as well, the U.S.? So we believe it's a perfect complement to manned uh, onboard manned platform, traditional manned platform like maritime patrol aircraft. So, uh, yes, <laughs> yes, we hope we, uh, the same way we were able to convince the U.S. Air Force that the Reaper was a perfect uh, counterinsurgency platform, uh, we, we are pretty confident that we will be able to a certain point to convince the Navy, the U.S. Navy, uh, that uh, this is the right platform in complement to their P-8. Uh, the same way we are now uh, working with other navies in Europe, which is my area of responsibilities, 
to uh, procure a um, short takeoff and landing version of the Sea Guardian to be capable to operate from ships and perform maritime surveillance, ASW, but also AEW, airborne early warning, in support to, uh, to this uh, carrier forces. Now you are developing a short takeoff and landing stole version of the Sea Guardian, and you, your test platform did a flight on, I believe, HMS Prince of Wales, a British aircraft carrier. Uh, that's correct. Uh, we did a demonstration with our uh, Mojave uh, demonstrator, which was developed in order to uh, answer a requirement from the U.S. Army to have uh, the capa having a male capability uh, from unprepared runway and short runways. And uh, having this stall, very specific wing, as you can see on the, on the video, yes, makes this aircraft capable to operate from very short distances. So it's a much shorter wingspan? You've got leading edge uh, flaps on this? Exactly. That's, that's the characteristics of a stall wing. Uh, leading edge and flaps, and that way you can reduce the landing speed to 40, 50 knots, which obviously on an aircraft carrier with a heading, a heading wind helps you to, to land in very short distances. So this kit that is currently being developed in support to some uh, Navy's requirements uh, will en enable the MQ-9B uh, Sea Guardian in a com conventionally by removing the wings, the tails, and, the pro and changing the propeller, so kind of a stall kit you would have at the back of the hangar to transform a traditional MQ-9B Sea Guardian in a stall Sea Guardian, and that way capable to operate on helicopter carriers so that we name flat decks. So uh, obviously uh, this uh, should be of interest of many nations that are to have uh, to be capable to use this mail platform from this uh, aircraft carrier. I mean by that, you know, uh, uh, U.S. Marines, obviously, but all other navies uh, in Europe and around the world that have these capabilities. So uh, for GA, again, another way to demonstrate, based on our experience, how mail can be used, still useful in the, in the modern uh, uh, operations and uh, on, on the sea domain. Merci beaucoup. You're very welcome, and thank you for stopping by.